Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Elite Nurse Lifestyle, where we discuss all things fashion, but most importantly, fragrances. If this is your first time here and do like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. And for all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for continuing to watch. Okay guys, we have a good one today. This video, we are going to discuss some of my favorite fragrances with the most intoxicating trail. Like, do, have you ever worn a fragrance and you walk by and it's like someone, you know, runs after you and they're like, oh my God, what is that scent you're wearing? That kind of intoxicating, right? Like, it announces you before you get to the room or like you were in a room before and then once you leave some, they know that you are actually there because your scent trail is, you know, it has lingered on. So these are the fragrances we're going to be discussing today, guys. And if you wanna know what some of the most intoxicating scent trail fragrances that I have in my collection are, Stick around. So the very first fragrance with one of the most intoxicating Centrail guys is Delina Exclusive's Big Sister. And if y'all know, you know, it's none other than Atomic Rose. Guys, this is an absolutely beautiful fragrance. If you like Delina Exclusive, you will love this one, in my opinion, because it is the more sophisticated, um, you know, well-blended, um, just more elevated fragrance if you like Delina Exclusive, right? Guys, this is a powdery uh, rose fragrance. I believe it has Turkish rose. And also, um, there is Bulgarian rose in this fragrance, guys. It has the pink pepper, which gives it the spiciness to the fragrance. Uh, uh, this warm, ambery uh, essence to the fragrance as well. There is also some Egyptian jasmine and Madagascar vanilla and some amber in the base. Absolutely stunning fragrance. I love this fragrance. Every time I wear it, I get tons of compliments whenever I'm out and I'm wearing this fragrance. And it's one of those fragrances I wear whenever I want to, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to make a scene because I know it's going to do what it needs to do. It has great lasting power, great longevity, and a beautiful scent trail. So this one, guys, if you have not, gotten your nose on this one. If you have not smelt this one as yet, guys, what are you doing? Go ahead, get a sample and check this one out. Atomic Rose from the House of Initio. It is absolutely one of my favorite scents. And um, I think it gives one of the most intoxicating scent trails. Sticking to the House of Initio, guys. And y'all know I love the House of Initio, right? Like literally I could get all their fragrances, especially in the Carnal collection, and I would be a happy girl because it just, it's just so well done, most of their fragrances, right? So sticking to the house of Initio, the next fragrance is Psychedelic Love, guys. Psychedelic Love, this is a powdery, um, ambery, warm, fragrance. Guys, y'all know this is my vibe, right? I love these kind of fragrances, that ambery oriental vibe kind of fragrance. That is just me in a bottle, right? So with this one, guys, you get some florals. It has um, it has some ylang, ylang. It's got some bergamot in the top. There's also some heliotrope, which, give, which gives it this almond kind of essence to the fragrance. Um, there's also Bulgarian rose, and it has some myrrh, which I find it gives it almost like this 
a little bit of a menthol quality to the fragrance, but it's so well done. It's a beautiful, just intoxicating fragrance. And whenever you wear this, guys, it's going to leave you with this beautiful scent trail. And people are going to be sure to ask, what is that fragrance that you have on? Okay. And um, it has some creaminess on the dry down from the sandalwood in the base. Just a beautiful fragrance, guys. Psychedelic Love from the House of Initio. Get your nose on this one. It is so beautiful. Um, if you don't like the, the, the note of myrrh, you may not like this fragrance. So I'm still going to say, you know, try it before you buy it because if you don't like the note of myrrh, it, this is what gives it this menthol-y um, essence to the fragrance. And um, I think it's beautifully done, but check it out. Psychedelic Love from the House of Initio. The next fragrance, guys, is a absolutely beautiful, stunning fragrance, okay? It is from the house of Fragrance Dubois. And when I tell you, I've had a sample of this fragrance for so long, and I finally pulled the plug on this fragrance. It is none other than New York Fifth Avenue. And it is so gorgeous, guys. Like, my sample ran out a while ago, and I was going through my little samples, and I came across it. I was like, oh my god, I need this scent in my life again, especially for the fall and winter. Like, this fragrance is so stunning, guys. It's a little powdery. It has some rose. It has some woody notes as well. Uh, there's some vanilla, some sweetness as well in the base. Just so beautiful. This scent, guys, the top notes are rose and bergamot. And then it has some caramel, which is, I get that really prominently in the fragrance. There's some caramel, some cypriol oil, violet. That's another note that I get really prominently in the fragrance as well. It gives it this powdery um, essence on the dry down. And then there's some cashmere wood, some vanilla, gaiac wood, and musk in the base. It is so well blended. It is perfect for this time of year. Like, I could, my picture in my head, when I'm wearing this fragrance, it's me in a, you know, I live in Georgia. So we are just now getting cold. You know, we don't get cold, cold, but we're just now getting cold where we can wear like a light, trench coat and we can wear a jacket with a little scarf and so that this is for me in my head it's some boots with some uh, a, tr a little trench on and just um oh it's so beautiful and perfect 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 for this time of year you're definitely gonna get compliments in it because the the longevity is up to eight hours it is so gorgeous whenever the dry down kicks in it is just a beautiful fragrance and you have to check this one out fifth avenue from fragrance du bois it's one of the most beautiful fragrances for this time of year guys and um i don't hear a lot of people speaking about this one but this one it's an oldie but goodie it's been around for a while and it is definitely perfect for this time of year so check it out Sticking to the house of Fragrance de Bois, guys, is one of my favorite fragrances from this house for this time of year. Y'all have heard me rave about this fragrance if you've been following me for a while. It's Cavort, of course. <laughs> if I'm talking about intoxicating trail, of course Cavort is going to be on the list, right? So guys, this one, it's a beaut- oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this fragrance, it has some saffron, it has some cinnamon, it's warm, it's ambery, everything in a fragrance that I love. It has some ylang ylang, there's some rose, jasmine, it also has some sandalwood in the base, which gives it the creaminess on the dry down. And then there's a bit of patchouli as well. So it's a little, you know, it has like a little bit of woodiness, it has the sweetness from the rose. Um gorgeous gorgeous fragrance if you've been following me on this channel you know how much I love this fragrance guys 
get your nose on it. The trail with this, whenever I wear it, is absolutely beautiful. I wore this fragrance to a gala um, that I was going to and I got so many compliments, guys. Like someone came up to me and was like, oh my God, I can smell the scent of your fragrance throughout the, the you know, the event. And they were just like, what is that fragrance you're wearing? And I told them, you know, it's Cavort from Fragrance the Boff. They didn't know about niche fragrances. And so, you know, I actually looked it up on my phone and uh, showed it to them. And they were just like, that is an amazing scent. But guys, it's one of my favorite fragrances from the house. Check it out. Enough said. The next fragrance, guys, I've had in my collection now for about four months. And when I tell you, I am so glad I pulled the trigger on this one because I was a little hesitant at first. I spoke about this in a previous vid video. It is none other than Oriana. Ooh, I'm matching. <laughs> Oriana from the House of Parfums, the Marley, guys. Like, I'm so happy I purchased this fragrance because when it first came out, everyone was you know, um, saying the fragrance has so many similarities to um, Love Don't Be Shy. And as you know, if you've been watching me, I do not like that fragrance at all. Okay, I've tried many times with that fragrance. But this is so well done. I think it was the marshmallow note that I was just like, I'm not feeling that note on my skin. It's, you know, it's not gelling with me. But this one... It is so beautiful. It has, you know, mandarin orange. It also has some orange blossom. But most prominent that I get in the in the fragrance is the marshmallow. And like it has this whipped cream note as well. And you get that creaminess. Um, but also like this almost like a tartness from the 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 bergamot and the mandarin orange in the top notes it is so beautifully done and i'm so happy to have it in my in my collection i think i'm definitely gonna have to get a bigger bottle because i'm telling you when i wear this fragrance it's giving me up to eight hours the scent trail is absolutely amazing and you know this is this is what Love Don't Be Shy should have been. It's just so beautifully blended. It's not that screechy orange blossom or, you know, mandarin orange note. It's because, you know, sometimes with the mandarin orange or orange blossom, it can get so cloying and so screechy, if not blended to perfection. But this one, I absolutely love it, and I think you should check it out if you have not already. If you were like me and had concerns uh, because you didn't like Love Don't Be Shy. So definitely get your nose on this one. Um, Oriana from the House of Parfums. The, the next one, guys, is another one of my favorites. This is from the House of Killian. It is Rolling in Love and... You've seen me say before that this is what Love Don't Be Shy should have been. Yeah, I love this fragrance. Like this fragrance, guys, it's almondy. That's the main note that you get from this fragrance. There's some almond. There's some powderiness, a little bit of sweetness as well. It It is a sweet fragrance, okay? it It's a sweet fragrance. Um, then there's like some iris. Um, in this fragrance, the main notes that I get though is that almond. And then it has like some iris, which gives it the powdery quality to the fragrance. There's also some musk and some tonka in the base and a little bit of tuberose, which gives it this creaminess on dry down. It is so beautiful. I love it this fragrance and the scent trail, the dry down is just immaculate. And I'm telling you, you're going to get compliments and people are going to want to know what you're wearing. Rolling in love from the house of Killian. Go check it out. So the next one, guys, I am so excited for this one, right? Because it's a fairly new fragrance in my collection. I ha I've had it for a month now and I've been just testing it out just to see really what the essence of the fragrance is, guys. It is one that is absolutely loved on TikTok. 
okay? Because that's where I've been seeing all the TikTok girlies talk about this fragrance. And huh, I'm like, let me get a sample of this fragrance. And it did not disappoint. Rosendo Mateo number five. This is my first from the house and I'm looking forward to, to having more purchases from the house. But this one, guys, ooh, this did not disappoint. When I tell you this is a, it says a floral, amber, sensual musk fragrance and it absolutely is what it says it is, okay? When, when I wore this, I've worn it a few times now, when I wore this fragrance, guys, on the opening, there is this kind of, and I've seen people say this as well, there is this like burnt tire kind of um, note to it. But when I tell you, I, I didn't know burnt tire could smell that good. It is so good, guys. It has like these spices and exotic floral notes in it. It says here it has some carnation. There's some lily of the valley. It's a bit powdery on dry down. It's ambery. There's some amber in the base as well as some vanilla and some musk. But what I get most is that on dry down, it's a little powdery. It has some amber, very ambery on the dry down and musky as well. It is so beautiful. It is, it's not the fragrance that's easily described, but it's so good. Get a sample of this fragrance, guys. Rosendo Mateo number no. five. Yes, I'm gonna have a blast wearing this fragrance. Um, the scent trail is immaculate, guys, and it lasts up to 10 hours, 10 hours when I wore it. It is just a beautiful, fragrance and it leaves an immaculate scent trail. Get your nose on this one. I think you will not regret it. Rosendo Mateo number five. The next one guys is a fragrance that I absolutely love. This fragrance reminds me of love. Okay. It's that beautiful. It is a little ambery, but it's sweet, light, just very aromatic. It has a little bit of muskiness, a little bit of woodiness. It is none other than For Your Love from Mise and Sir. I absolutely love this fragrance, you guys. And when I tell you, it leaves the most intoxicating trail, guys. I've worn this fragrance before and I was in a restaurant waiting to be seated and um, these ladies came up to me, asked me to take their picture and as I was about to walk away, one of the ladies came up to me and said, oh my God, you smell absolutely amazing. What is that fragrance you're wearing? And I told them what it was, but this is just, it has raspberry, it has musk, it has some ambergris, some patchouli, and benzoin in the base. It is so beautiful and just light and airy, but then it also has a, a staying, um, a very great longevity longevity to the fragrance, right? Um, check it out. For Your Love from the House of Misen, sir. One of my absolute fragrant, favorite fragrances from the house. I'm also going to get Treasure because I've had samples. When I bought this one, I, I got samples of that and I it's just such a stunning fragrance. So, But check this one out, guys. It is so beautiful. I've had this one for maybe six months or more and look at the dent already. <laughs> I say no more. The next one, guys, if you've been watching my channel or you're familiar with my channel, you know I've discussed this fragrance quite a bit. Um, it's from the house of Christian Dior, um, Ombre Nuit. Okay, this is a sexy, ambery, um, powdery, sultry fragrance. This, guys, if you're familiar with this line from Christian Dior, you know that their fragrances have great staying power, such as Gris Dior or Feb Delicious, guys. These fragrances are lasting 10, 12 hours, okay? 
you're going to have the centrail, you're going to have the projection, you're going to have the longevity. Um, this one, the main notes is that ambery note. It has some Damascus rose as well and some pink pepper where you get that little bit of spiciness to the fragrance. But it is so good. It has ambergris, gayak wood, cedar, and patchouli in the base. A beautiful scent trail. This you're going to get compliments. They're going to ask you what you're wearing. Check this one out. Amber knew it from the house of Christian Dior. Last but certainly not least, it's an oldie but goodie. You know, it's been spoken about, spoken about numerous times on this channel. Angels share. Guys, I could not have a video about intoxicating scent trails and not have angels share on this ooh, on this fragrance it, it it's that cognac note for me it is that cinnamon for me okay it's the the vanilla the sweetness from the praline the creaminess from the sandalwood guys y'all know y'all know by now I, i'm not i don't even have to conv convince y'all at this point right? Y'all should know what an angel share is all about. You know it's going to give you the longevity. You know it gives you this projection and the scent trail is immaculate, guys. So that was my last fragrance on the list of fragrances that gives intoxicating scent trails. And guys, tell me which ones are your favorite, which ones you're looking to check out. And until next time, thanks for watching.